Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellbite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. First and foremost, today I wanted to thank all of you guys as we have finally hit 100 subscribers to Grab the Lantern. I didn't think I was ever going to get even this far, so I really appreciate every single one of you guys who bothered to take the time, click that subscribe button, and who do follow my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to thank all of you guys for that. Moving on to the subject of the day, I wanted to talk about uh, champion reworks and essentially why they happen and how Riot can maybe do a better job on these. Now, I know that there have been a lot of people very upset with the Aatrox rework saying, you know, oh, he's so much more clunky than he was before and he's not as much fun to play, yada yada. And this has sort of been a theme, I think, that's gone throughout League of Legends history. There have always been certain reworks and champions that have come out and that people have just hated beyond all belief and they hate every part about them and to a certain extent they're not wrong because the rework generally can be very different from how the champion was previously especially if you were playing like someone like karma for example old karma then her new kit is very different and doesn't do hardly any of the things that she did before Aatrox is very different than he was than he is now or he was previously because before he was an auto attack based drain tanking guy now he's sort of a ability based disruptive frontline fighter that sort of thing and it's a really weird uh, differentiation and it makes it it's, it ends up in a really weird situation when you've played this champion so much and they just kind of don't exist and they were replaced with someone who is very different but today I wanted to talk about basically why these reworks happen in the first place and sort of give a little bit more context to why your champion might have been changed as much as they were changed. Because I feel like it's not necessarily always a, uh, a fair assessment to say, oh, Riot just hated this champion and they gutted this champion and yada yada. They're, most of the time it's because they're trying to make the champion into a, a better state. So first and foremost, the reasons Riot generally re reworks champions. First and foremost, it's to fix design flaws. Very rarely is it because Riot just don't like the champion. Usually it's because they've said, yeah, so this champion has just a bad, straight up bad kit design is the problem. They have too little counterplay. They have non-synergistic abilities. They're generally not fun to play. Um, there are a lot of reasons, I think, why champions can get reworked in this regard. And Aatrox is a good example of this because... He was so incredibly binary. If he got ahead, you just could not deal with him. He would drain tank through everything you're trying to do while dealing tons of damage, and there was just very little counterplay to what you could possibly do about him. Akali is also up for a rework for the same reasons. Everything she does is targeted, and there's nothing you can do about an Akali that's ahead because she has four gap closers when you include Flash. Actually, five gap closers when you include Flash. All of her, the gap closers are targeted. She has a targeted damage source. She has a very local AoE that may as well be targeted. It's very difficult to have maximum damage output on a Kali when everything you do is targeted. Because unlike Ezreal, who needs to be landing skill shots, but who can just be a nightmare if he is landing skill shots, everything a Kali does is completely targeted and difficult to deal with. So that's kind of an issue with her design and that's one of the reasons why she's up for a rework and the same thing as uh, a lot of these other champions that's why they are up for reworks that's why they're starting to get changed because they have problems with their design that make it so that they are just very difficult to balance uh another reason right tend to rework champions is to solve a thematic disconnect Fiora was meant to be a duelist champion. That was her whole shtick. In fact, I believe she's supposed to be this grand duelist. But in practice, she was pretty much just an ult bot in teamfights because there wasn't any counterplay to her ultimate. You got a ton of damage from constant Tiamat procs and the area of effect damage. She was untargetable entirely while doing it, so you couldn't even stop her in the middle. And she was actually a garbage duelist. She couldn't do anything to champions one-on-one. -on -one. So the rework in that regard was intended to make it so Fiora felt like a duelist and was living up to the promise that she made to the player when you actually did pick her up and sure you could be saying well why does this matter why do thematics matter right as long as the champion plays well and has a niche it doesn't matter like okay if yours is a good team fighting bot but she's supposed to be a grand duelist that's fine but in my opinion it's not because you have to remember a lot of reasons why people play champions in league of legends 
is for the fantasy and is for the sort of fluff reasons, I guess you could say. I'm going to be playing somebody like Kled because I want to be an insane cavalry hillbilly dude. That's why I want to play Kled, because that sounds fun. I'm going to play Garen because I want to be the sort of uh, noble knight vanguard warrior kind of trope. I like that kind of trope. That's why I'm going to play that champion. For example, of course. If, and all these, every champion should have a reason why you pick them. And so if a champion doesn't live up to their thematic, it's kind of a wasted opportunity. And it kind of ends up in a situation where you feel like you can't have anyone else participate in that aspect. Because you technically have somebody. A good example of this is Yorick, who... Filled the, tr the sort of space of Necromancer, but beforehand, before his rework, he was in such a garbage spot and didn't really live up to the, the theme of being a Necromancer because of how unreliable summons were and how his summons didn't feel like they really felt like a part of his kit. They were sort of in addition to anything else that Yorick was doing. He was using his spells for their effects, and yeah, I guess I summoned a guy, and that guy is going to die instantly in team fights. but I summoned him. No one ever noticed that. They just used their spells for their abilities, and it sort of sucked if you were a fan of the sort of necromancer tropes because you didn't get to play as a necromancer. You were playing as sort of a guy with uh, flashier abilities where they, they make a minion for about a split second before the minion dies. doesn't make you feel like a necromancer. And his current kit does a much better job of living up to that theme. So instead of Riot needing to make two different Necromancer champions, one of which who does it terribly and one of which who does it well, we just have one Necromancer champion who fits the thematic and fits the trope of I'm going to kill things, then I'm going to bring things back. Which I think works quite well for, for what York's kit is intended to do. The other reason why Riot rework champions, and this is a bit more uh, controversial, is they try to make the champ more appealing. And this is in a couple of ways. Generally, it's for power reasons. So if someone is particularly weak, that's sort of one of the reasons why Riot might choose to say, okay, this guy needs to be reworked because just nobody's bothering to play him. Fiddlesticks, I would say, is on the list for that reason in that Fiddlesticks right now is just generally pretty weak. But it also tends to happen along a kit, uh, a kit rework or a design rework just because they're trying to end up getting champions to a spot where people want to play this champion. There are oftentimes, especially in leagues past, uh, situations where champions were, were released or existed in the game and were just so generally unpopular, nobody ever played them. Even when they were strong or numerically tuned well, it didn't matter because they were so ugly or just so not fun that nobody wanted to play them. Urgot is obviously a really good example of this. He's a guy that's been killed like a million times, and he's now just this cybernetic monstrosity that's ugly and plays poorly, and there were so many problems with old Urgot, so of course no one's going to play him. Galio, same kind of deal. Galio had actually a decent niche, but because he was themed as sort of a sad gargoyle, nobody wants to play a sad gargoyle. Now, a giant anti-magic talking statue... That I can get behind. That a lot of players can get behind because there's more. There's a more readily, readily accessible uh, thematic behind that. I want to be this giant statue walking around and punching enemies and dealing tons of damage to them. And I don't really end up wanting to be just this really sad guy who's sure. I guess he's anti magic, but it feels more like he's just disappointed with everything. I don't necessarily want to play as that. And that's one of the reasons why Riot do rework champions, because they're trying to make it so that more people will want to play that champion. And I think that's a fine goal to have, and I think that's a good goal to have, because in a roster of 140 characters, you want to make sure each of them stands out, and each of them has a player base of people who want to play them. And currently, I feel like there are... Beforehand, I should say, Riot's gotten a lot better about it, but beforehand, I feel like there were a lot of champions where... Riot just didn't end up getting them into a spot where you wanted to play them or felt like you or felt like they were even real characters. It felt like especially things like old Trundle, old Urgot, like I was saying, why would I play these champions? There's no real reason for me to do that. They just look ugly. They don't play well. They have a weird personality. You know, forget that. I'm going to play somebody else. So I think that's a fair assessment for why a champion can be getting reworked. And I think it generally only ends up working out better for the players, especially given that when the champion has a solid thematic, Trundle, a giant troll with a club, sure, change the thematic to make him a frost troll, but he still generally plays the same. So if you liked how he played, that didn't really change. All that really changed was just how he was themed. So let's look at Aatrox then, because he's the one that most people have been complaining about. The general complaints are, oh, he feels clunky and he doesn't feel like old Aatrox and he's still bad. But the design issues, right, we're trying to solve with Aatrox were that Aatrox uh, beforehand 
basically didn't really feel like the demon warlord he was supposed to be and had the the binary problem of being a auto attacking drain tank where there's no way to optimize his damage output there's no way to optimize his healing he just gets it by being in combat and it's really difficult to deal with him in a whole bunch of different ways so Clearly, he needed a rework on all of these accounts. He needed to get a re uh, thematic rework to make him feel like a de demon warlord. He needed to have a kit that was going to allow him to express the flavor of being a warlord and give him ups and downs in terms of damage. New Aatrox has to be landing those edge hits with his Q if he wants to really be maximizing the damage he deals. He can't just be right-clicking a guy to death and also healing massively at the same time. Coincidentally, because his damage is tied to his healing, or vice versa, I should say, it ends up uh, also preventing him from being the sort of ridiculous drain tank he was before because he needs to be landing those edge hits. He needs to be getting the damage down in order to really be getting the healing that he's used to because otherwise he just doesn't have that much. So, yeah, it does suck, especially if you were a big fan of Aatrox or any champion that's previously been reworked to a very different form. It does suck. But I think that there are a lot of very valid reasons why Riot do choose to rework champions. And I, I also think that, especially immediately after the champ gets reworked, it can be really tough. Because especially if the champion's on the balance train roller coaster, it's really hard. And you're trying to relearn a new champion skill set. And they might, you might not even have the same reasons that you used to play the champion in the kit anymore. And that's kind of disappointing. But... At the same time, I think that generally speaking, Riot do these reworks from a good place. I don't think they ever approach a rework saying, let's just take this champion everybody liked and gut them or completely change them into a form they won't recognize anymore for no reason at all. There are reasons and it definitely can suck when the champion you like no longer kind of exists in the form that they did. But I think at the same time that there, you know, there are definitely reasons for why you would want to do that. So, anyways, those are just kind of my two cents on champion reworks. I know this is a bit of a longer video, kind of a rambly video. So, let me know what you guys think of all of this down in the comment section below. Would love to hear your thoughts on this sort of subject. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for Grab the Lantern content, you can check out my blog, link down in the description. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Now I'll talk to you all later.